Hey everyone, welcome to another video. Today I am reviewing the Ice Age Prehistoric Animal Excavation Kits. And um, I personally think that these fossil excavation kits are very fun activities, especially for young children who may have a passion for paleontology and all things prehistoric. So excavation kits are definitely fun activities for kids or for any people with that kind of passion. And um, I actually ordered these um, sets on Amazon for a very good price and um, I was a little hesitant to at first for a number of reasons. One of which is because I actually got the mammoth and the saber tooth for um, an event called Discover the Dinosaurs or Discover the Ice Age when it went to Las Cruces, New Mexico. And um, I was not aware of how careful you have to be and how cheap these um, figures were and um, how careful you have to be because um, one, they, they break pretty easily very breakable pieces so you got to be careful when you excavate them and then another reason is that the pieces don't stay intact that easily so these um crafts are very poorly done but um i decided to take a chance and order them on amazon and um so i actually ordered four of them in the hopes of getting all three and in case maybe another one just in case i get two of the same or three of the same so I'd say it was worth my money on Amazon. I paid um, a total of $25 for four sets, and um, it, I, I think it was worth it, because despite all the bad reviews I saw on Amazon, um, there were a lot of unhappy people who ordered these sets, and um, there were a lot of bad reviews, one of which is saying that they did what I did, ordered more than one in hopes of getting three different ones, but instead of getting all three different ones, they ended up with um, three mammoths and nothing else. And then some other reviews said that these figures break too easily. And then some other reviews say that these bones don't stay intact with each other, the pieces don't stay intact with each other. So um, that's why I was pretty hesitant to order these at first, because I had to think about all the limitations to these and prepare for some disappointments. But um, I ordered it and it was worth it for me. Not everyone can say that, judging by all the reviews that I saw on Amazon regarding these fossil kits. So yeah, um, I ordered these and it was pretty much worth it for me. So let's get right into the reviews. It comes with three prehistoric animals, a saber-toothed cat, a mammoth, and a giant ground sloth. And these, which are um, pretty iconic animals of the Ice Age. So here's the fourth kit. I really like the design in the box. And it's marked right there that this one is Megatherium. And then the other two are Mammoth and Smilodon. So this one has a Megatherium inside it. But as you can see, I already have a Megatherium, so I got two Megatheriums and one Serratooth and one Mammoth. So the design in the box, I think it's pretty cool. It's kind of got glaciers everywhere to represent the Ice Age. And it says three to collect. I have all three of them, the Saber-Tooth, the Mammoth, and the Sloth. And it has little images of them right there. And you can see the Ice Age background, the white glaciers and then the blue mountains. And it kind of looks like an explosion of ice flying everywhere. And then it's got the glaciers right there with the little Mammoth, Saber-Tooth, and Megatherium. It has them labeled on the bottom and then three dots. And then the one dot is marked red for the Megatherium. And then it says Ice Age on the top, and then it kind of looks like it's blowing out from the mountain. And then it's got the Ice Age background, and then it's got the Serratooth, the Mammoth, and the Sloth. And then right below it, it says Prehistoric Animals Excavation Kit. And of course, there are some warnings right there. For ages 8 and up, warning, choking hazard. Not good for children under 3 years old. So yeah, the box, the detail and the design in the box is pretty cool and impressive. And then on the side it says I, the same thing it says on the front. Each pack contains one earth block, digging tools, and dusting brush. So you can see the block and the brush and the digging thing right there. And on the other side it just says the same thing it says on the front. Ice Age Prehistoric Animal Excavation Kit. Yeah, it's got Ice Age background everywhere, and then it has the instructions back here. So if you guys want to take a look at that, read it through. It's 
got the steps. Yeah, and then if you you can either open it on the top or on the bottom, but I chose to open it from the bottom, so when you open it, this is what you get. A block and then your digging tools. Yeah, the digging tools come in a little plastic. If you got a brush and then a little digging stick. And then this block which has the bones inside that you get to dig them out. Now um the thing I don't really like about most uh, fossil kits is that um, all they give you with to work with is um, if a little stick to dig through stone. Um, I don't think that's going to work very easily, especially if you're trying to work very delicately and to prevent breaking the bone. So what I did, since I'm, it gave me nothing to work with but a brush and a wooden stick, I actually decided to take out a bucket of water and I just dumped this little brick inside the water and let it get all soft which would make it easier to dig through. So some people might say that's cheating, but um, I just call it beating the system and working smarter, not harder. And then the block even says, dig it out. So Yeah, I just made it easier by dumping it in water and making the rocks softer so it could be easier to dig them out. Yeah, I dug out all three of them. I had to be very careful because last time I got these, I wasn't very careful and Broke a lot of the pieces and yeah, it wasn't worth my money the first time, but now I'm a little bit wiser and so I was careful enough to safely excavate these four fossils, these three fossils. I haven't dug in out the fourth fossil yet because I already dug out the sloth and the other one's just a sloth. And as you can see, this one is the one with the mammoth is labeled red. And then the one with the Smilodon is labeled red. And then the one with the Sloth is labeled red. So yeah, I was pretty fortunate to get all three. Unfortunately for the reviews that say they got just three mammoths instead of one of each. So that's pretty lucky for me. So it has three Ice Age animals, a Sabertooth, a Mammoth, and the Ground Sloth. So I'll start off with reviewing this Smilodon right here. And one of the bad reviews said that um, one of the problems that they had was that these fossils don't stay intact with each other. The pieces don't stay intact with each other, so it wasn't really worth their money. But what I did was once I dug them all out, I washed them out, washed all the rock and debris out. And then I used just hot glue to glue the bones into place. And then... Um, so I waited for that to dry so the bones would stay in place. And then I used super glue to glue, seal it in through the edges and seal it into place. So now it's, now it's pretty stable now. So yeah, despite the bad reviews, I got this because I knew I could make it work. Despite what all the bad reviews say. So yeah, anytime there's a problem, I, I usually always have a way to fix it. So here we have the saber tooth cat skeleton. And uh, I see what they mean when the figure is badly crafted. I mean the skull, the detail mostly on the top of the skull is pretty horribly done, but I don't know if there's a way to, for me to fix that. I used scissors to trim off a few of the jagged areas. So I did the best that I could and I'm pretty happy with it. So if you could see the Smilodon head, you could see the saber fang. So yeah, the, you can see the detail in the mouth and then the eye socket. And then yeah, unfortunately when I dug it out, it's left saber broke off. So that was a little unfortunate for me. But I guess I could set a good example of how Sabertooth's fangs were pretty fragile and ver at a very high risk of breakage. So that sets a little example. So the details better on this side of the skull, despite the broken saber fang. So yeah, you got the skull, and then you got the neck. So yeah, the saber teeth and then the skull and then the neck. You can tell that I glued, did a lot of gluing, which is actually what was requ required on the back of the box that I showed you. 
And then you can see the shoulder blades right there. And then the rib cage is nicely done. And then you can see the shoulder blade and then the legs. You can see the way it's posed, it looks as if it was walking. And then the detail on the paws, the bony paws. And this, I think this is an accurate representation because the legs do look a little short, which is a common characteristic of the Sabertooth's short, stocky, muscular build. So the detail on the bones are nicely done. So the front legs and then the way they, they have the shoulder blades and connected to the rib cage. And then if you go further back, you go to the pelvis and the tail. And then you got the back legs, which are connected to the pelvis. You can tell how this one goes further back and this one's in the front as if it was walking. And then I actually decided to pose it like that because I think that was actually what you were supposed to do. Because this leg right here is actually a little longer than this one right here. So if I would have pulled this forward a little, it would have been uneven when it would stand. But it stands up pretty nicely now. It's posed as if it was walking with very long strides. So yeah, this piece has a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pieces. You got the the four legs and then the the piece with the pelvis and the tail is another piece and then the rib cage is another. And then the skull is another piece, so that's how many pieces it has. So yeah, it's a pretty nice crafted Smilodon figure, a Smilodon skeleton figure that I dug out from one of the bricks. So yeah, like I said, you have to be very careful and then the pieces don't stay intact, so you have to actually glue them. Yeah, here's a Smilodon figure, Smilodon skeleton figure. And now we have the mammoth figure. So nicely crafted mammoth figure. Might seem a little cruddy because it was pretty hard to wash out all the debris and rock. And yeah, I did the same thing with the sloth and the saber tooth. I glued them all into place. So if you start off with the mammoth skull, you can see the skull. You can see nice details. You can see the eye socket, the bottom jaw and the mouth, and then the way the tusks protrude out. So pretty nice mammoth skull. And then one tusk is a little messed up compared to the other tusk. And then if you get the other side. So yeah, you can see the skull, the head, the bottom jaw, the eye sockets, the, and the tusks. So there's the mammoth head, and then if you go down right here, you can see the bone sticking out of the spine, which is what gave mammoth its very arched shoulder, and then its shoulder blades, and then its legs. This figure also stands up pretty well, as long as you adjust the legs right. And then you've got the rib cage, which was pretty nicely crafted, very well done. Like I said before, it was pretty hard to wash out all the debris using that water and the brush. And then you got the pelvis and the tail where the legs connect. So yeah, here's the mammoth skeleton figure which was dug out. And it stands up pretty well. It's Pretty nice mammoth skeleton figure. So yeah, you gotta be very careful when you dig these out because these bones can break very easily. The pieces break very easily. So here's the mammoth. And then finally we have the giant ground sloth Megatherium. Pretty nicely crafted figure.
And I believe this figure has one, two, three, four, five, six pieces. The the two arms and then the two legs and then the the rest of the skeleton. And the skeleton comes intact with a pelvis and the tail. And then there's the head. And then the mammoth, I believe it has like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine pieces. So yeah, the mammoth has the most pieces. The serotooth tooth has a second largest amount of pieces, and then this one has the least amount of pieces. Because with the mammoth, you've got two tusks, the head, four legs, and then the back pelvis, and then the rib cage. And then the saber tooth, the skull, the rib cage, the back pelvis, and then the four legs, and then with the sloth, it's just the, the skull, the, the rib cage, and then the four limbs. So the sloth is pretty nicely crafted. It's kind of hollow inside the rib cage, but there's no way out. So you got the skull. The skull is pretty simple for the sloth. Did what I did for the serotooth tooth and the mammoth. Glued the pieces with super glue and then I sealed them in with the super glue. Use hot glue to glue them in. So yeah, I used hot glue and super glue. So this sloth appears to be standing up on its hind legs. And then when it stands, the tail actually helps it balance. So it could stand up upright and the tail helps it balance. So you got the back legs. So yeah, the design in the bones is pretty nicely done. So you got the back legs and then the rib cage. And then the claws and the limbs and the arms. The shoulder blade, the spine, and the head. So pretty nicely crafted prehistoric Ice Age animals. So yeah, despite the bad reviews, I actually managed to make this work. So um, I was pretty hesitant to buy this at first because of all the bad reviews. It The figures could break very easily, the pieces broke very easily, the stone's pretty hard to dig through. So that was a high risk of breaking the bones as you were digging them out. And then they wouldn't stay intact with each other, so you have to actually use glue. So yeah, despite the bad reviews, I took a chance and it was actually worth it for me. I made it work. So not everyone could say that, but um, if you want to buy a set like this, um, that's up to you. But um, just take my advice. Um, what I said throughout this video, use water to soften up the rock, that way it'll make it easier to dig through. Or if you don't want to use a wooden stick to dig through it, use an, a real screwdriver and a real hammer to carve through. So that will make it easier to carve through the solid rock. So yeah, use water to soften the rock to dig through it, and then when you dig out the bones, be very careful with them because these pieces break pretty easily. And, um, and then last but not least, use glue to glue in these the pieces together. I used hot glue to glue them into place and then I used super glue to seal them into place so those pieces aren't moving, they're not going anywhere. So I managed to make this work. Pretty nice collection. I ordered them on Amazon, like I said, for a total of $25 because I ordered four of these, but I got a mammoth, a saber tooth, and a, two sloths. So yeah, two sloths, a mammoth, and a saber. Yeah, if you're lucky enough to buy all three of them, buy three figures and hopefully you'll get one of each. I was lucky enough to do that despite what the last um, review said that they ordered all three and instead they just got three mammoths and not one of each, so. I say it was worth it. You just gotta know what you're doing, you gotta know what to expect and somehow I just managed to make it work. Because I, I prefer to fix my problems instead of complaining about them. So, yeah, this is the Ice Age Animal Prehistoric Animal Excavation Kit. Like I said, it's a pretty fun activity for kids. And, um, so yeah, kids with uh, dreams of paleontology and all things prehistoric, if they have a passion for that, I definitely recommend getting them excavation kits to dig out their little fossils and putting them together, so... Yeah, that's, that's pretty much it, folks. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more, and I'll see you guys later.